Hi, everybody, and thank you for watching today. Thank you so much for everybody that tuned in last week. I'm so glad you're here with me today. This is another great week in awesomeness. Yes, I said awesomeness. I'm so excited. Um, last week, my viewers, all three of you guys, I love you. Anyways, more than that, I love you guys. You guys counted how many times I said amazing. It was 1,299, so I vow to bring you a new word every week. So we're going to go with awesomeness probably or something else. But beyond that, I'm having a wonderful time. I had a very exciting day today. I went over to the community breakfast at Tachi Hotel Palace and Casino. It was an awesome time. Um, I've seen some very awesome friends. Um, they're doing a really big thing out there, and I want to thank Tachi for having me today. And I want to thank all the people out there that are doing a big Relay for Life in Lemoore, and hopefully you get to see some pictures of my favorite team, Team Tachi out there. Hi, I know you guys are watching today. I thank you so much, all my friends watching from across the states and all family, whoever you are. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have some amazing guests for you, and I'm also going out there every day seeing who's going to be on my show, who's the next big superstar of the Central Valley, and I'm talking the South Central Valley. We're talking Kings County, Tulare County, Kern County, you guys. Let me know who you are. You can be on our show. We don't have to wait for Hollywood to call. It's Hollywood right here at centralvalleytalk.com, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, once again... I'm excited to bring you my guests today. We're going to go to commercial and we're going to bring them up. I'm so happy, you guys. Please stay tuned. We got some awesome surprises and I can't wait to let you know what they are. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by Corrine Hatfield of Platinum Mortgage. If you are thinking of purchasing a new home or refinancing an existing home, call Corrine Hatfield at 917 7111. This just in, Tower District houses are selling for as little as $300 per month. If you have a job and decent credit, you can own your own home. If you can come up with a down payment, you can own a home a lot cheaper than you can rent, and your payment will never go up. Also, you could deduct most of your house payment from your income taxes. If you'd like to lock in your monthly house payment at $300 to $500 per month for the next 30 years, call Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Hey, my name is Chris DeVold, and I am host of one of CentralValleyTalk.com's hottest new shows, Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold, where we sit around for an hour and read the Bible. No, no, we don't. You think with a name like Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold, that's what we're doing? No, we sit around, we talk about lewd topics, we drink beer, and I vow to bring you one local live musician every friggin' week. You can count on that. So grab your best friend, come to the studio, or watch from home, and get ready to blush every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold. You can advertise your business, your product, or your event on Central Valley Talk, the Valley's only internet television station. Several of our programs are also picked up on DISH and cable networks. For the best advertising dollar, call Central Valley Talk at 579-1360. You're watching centralvalleytalk.com. Centralvalleytalk.com. Hi, and welcome back. And like I said, my guest today is a, a guy, awesome guy that I met in, in class. I've been going to school, you guys, and I didn't know he was really in my class until he decided to go to this amazing event that's called the California Central Young Entrepreneurs Conference. And he made it, and um, he, he was a little tired that day, and I said, wow, you know, you made it. You, you look sleepy. What's going on? He said, man, I'm a man of my word. I said I'd be here, and I'm here. So I, I really like that in him. He's a young kid. To me, he's a kid. Um, but he's a young man, and um, he's got awesome confidence, and he's a man of his word, and that's what I love about him. So today, welcome my guest, Randy Thomas, and his friend and co-worker, Zach. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you guys here. Welcome. You guys, I want you to know we're live and direct, and I have a real live studio audience, and I want to say hi to my studio audience. Hopefully they tag me. Hopefully they tag me in a Facebook post. Um, but Thomas, uh, Randy Thomas and his friend have a business called Thomas Off-Road Fabrication. Thomas, so introduce yourself. Tell me uh, what your background experience is and what you do. Um, well, How the world. Background just had to be I started welding and doing 
fabrication work since I was, I don't know, about 10, 11, uh, 12 years old. Just started welding, uh, watched my uncle and dad, stuff like that around the shop, always kind of working and doing that on the weekends. Then uh, kind of progressed in high school as I uh, took more uh, welding classes and found my love and passion for welding and the artwork that it comes with. And, uh, and then from there, just started building small projects, built a trailer when I was 16, built uh, a gooseneck 22 foot long uh, when I was 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, started from there and then right after high school, I joined uh, the Wizard Schools of Fabrication down in LA. Oh, That's where wow. I learned how to build that off-road truck. What is it called now? Wizard Schools of Fabrication. I didn't know they had a school for that. Yeah, it, it went under. Did you have to get We <laughs> <laughs> broke the school, you guys. I don't, you didn't pay your uh, like financial that. aid back, huh? Something. Hey, but you, you know, I love what you said that you started this because it's your, like your passion. And yeah. I think that, and you said your father and your uncle. Yeah, were, father, uncle, stuff like that. We started doing that, and mm-hmm. you know, because I was always in the country, so. Arc welding is real easy. We're, we're kind of all bad. in the country. When you're from the yeah. Central Valley, we're all from the country. We're like all valley people. I love it because it's like in your blood. Yeah. It's in your blood then to do what you do. So, mm-hmm. And you, yeah. how did you come along? Uh, met him through his now girlfriend. girlfriend. And uh, I saw the truck one day and I've always been off road. You fell in love with the truck. Oh, the truck mm-hmm. got me. Yeah. I was hooked. I mean, how come, answer this question for me. How come guys love their cars and trucks so much? I. It's just, it's... Keeps us busy. It's a, yeah, keeps us busy. It's a <laughs> Better to love that than the other things, huh? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it can get expensive at times, but, uh, you know, that's life. And you find something that, you know, makes you happy and you just want to do it every day. Well, I appreciate that. So what are you guys doing now as far as business? So this is your business. What are you doing? Or it's a hobby. Um, just how, how does that work? It, I want to go get, because I got like a little, I got a little car. Do you do big car, like little cars and make them big? I yeah, mean, or it can. has to be a truck. No, I mean, I mostly just do trucks. It's all off road. I mean, I really mess with the cars. We're pretty much on the road. It's not really too much stuff. They don't want to put a front bumper and there's, you know, roof rack on their, on their car. What is it? For, See, for you're, you're talking like another language to me, but I know all the guys out there appreciate it. So roof yeah. rack and all that stuff. So like, say you guys don't get cars maybe that have been junk like like pintos yeah. and make them all big and stuff yeah we can do stuff like that i mean i took that truck it was running it had a lot of miles on it so i just pretty much shipped it all down to cab and frame and started building from there so I mean, we can go mild to wild and whatever mild to wild did you guys hear that did you make that up yourself <laughs> uh no i said a few times oh yeah. well you know he should <laughs> he should that's the shirt right there mild to wild i yeah. love it he's from the central valley i'm telling you guys he's awesome so um I love what you, where are you doing it? Where can people find you? Um, well, Lemoore is pretty much where I'm based out of. That's where uh, Lemoore. we claim. So, but it's actually outside Lemoore in, in a small town called Riverdale. I oh, think you guys heard it. Riverdale. I've heard Good of Riverdale. Riverdale. Yes, we have. So, yeah, it's like a mile from there. Out just out in the country. But it's like right next to the river, so we can. So, how can people find you? You have a Facebook page? Uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram, Thomas Off Road Fab, and then Facebook is just Randy Thomas. I haven't made a company Facebook yet. Look at that smile, everybody. So, you have to go to his Facebook page, uh, yeah, Randy really Thomas, right? Mm-hmm. I like that. Is that all? Is that just all you, or did you get some work done? No, it's all me. No braces, actually, <laughs> I, either. I love it. No bra- That's in his jeans, too. You got, a, you got some good jeans. I mean, you need yeah. to meet your parents one day. <laughs> See where the, all this came from. And yeah. you too. You got nice little dimples there. So what do you do besides hang out with him and Thomas Off-Road Fabrication? Uh, I uh, do more uh, motorcycle stuff. I race dirt bikes, quads, drag racing. Uh, and then career I just got started actually is uh, I'm a lineman for an electric company. So mm-hmm. hobbies, off-road, playing in the dirt. So you yeah. doing? are you doing side jobs? Maybe put your business out there? Are you doing little, just helping him out with everything? Just wants. helping him out yeah, with everything? Yeah, yeah, I always uh, helping him with the Also, trust. I think people should know, I think it's awesome because you go to school full-time, right? Yeah. You're going to school full-time. He has his own business, the business that he loves, you know, with a passion, mm-hmm. obviously. And you work? Yeah, I like, work. Like, really hard. Yeah, Tell him what you do. Bad. Well, when I work, I work for my dad's company, J&D Thomas. It's right there. That's where my company. J and D, Dad, you gotta come on the show. Yep, might, <laughs> yeah, might have to. So over there, just constantly welding, and fabricating. So that's what I do every day. So he does um, that during the day. He goes to school with full time, and he is doing what he loves yep. as a business. And I think everybody out there should pay attention to that because whatever you love to do, what your passion is, turn it into a business and make money. And what other better way to live? Exactly. I gotta ask you. That's I gotta also say this. 
I met Randy in our entrepreneurship class, and he is a very great entrepreneur, and he also has very great invention ideas. So you're working on some stuff too. We're not going to tell the world yeah, what it is. It's not patent yet. So it's I'm not patent. Put it <laughs> he is working on things to get patent. I love it because we have all these amazing ideas, and I don't want uh, awesomeness ideas. I'm really? phenomenal. You know, I'm using all. I'm. I'm I need my thesaurus here. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I. I, I love it. So tell me, where do you guys take the trucks? Do you go and you you just drive them? Where do you usually drive these we types of Pismo, trucks? We go to Pismo. We go to the desert. Well, we, have, we haven't made a desert trip yet. That's 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 in the calendar. But mostly Pismo right now. We take it out there. It's only two hours away. Everybody loves going to Pismo. Everybody mm -hmm. knows the best thing about being in the Central Valley is you're two hours away yep. from Pismo. You take your trucks. I'm telling you, if you have a truck right now, anything, right? You said you could do uh, little cars, Yeah, too? I can do little stuff. Yeah, and he's... Just yeah. You know, do a little thing, something you just want to, you know, spend, you know, a little bit, and like on a budget deal, we can always work that out in everyone's budget. He'll so. even work out a budget deal with you. How greater is that? That's what I want you to see. I want you to see that there's really great people around that'll work with you and help you out. And not only that, they're just really great people, you guys. Let's support each other. Let's visit their businesses. Look who they are on Facebook, Randy Thomas. Yep. On Facebook, um, Instagram, he's uh, Thomas. Thomas Off Road Fab on Instagram. Thomas Off Road no Fabrication, spaces. Lemoore, California. Mm -hmm. Also, let me ask you something. So, is there anybody you ever dreamed of meeting before? Oh, man. Jesse James, for sure. Jesse James. <laughs> cool. Not the old I thought you were going to say me. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm sad a little bit. But Jesse James, that's cool. Yeah. What about you? Oh, I think Ken Block. He drives cars, but he knows oh, how to drive them. Driver, yeah. Ooh, man. You guys like the bad boys, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah a, lot, a lot of girls do, too. It gets them in trouble. So, yeah. Anyways, I love it. So, um, tell me, what do you, what's the next big project you guys are working on? Um, I think his truck. I got my Ford Ranger. I just yeah. bought one, so we're tearing it down. Yeah, we're starting working on it pretty soon. So, what's the process? How do you guys... Um, step one is uh, start drawing everything out, figure out what you want to do, Okay. how you can do it. Uh, how much money you want to spend that's always pretty much the biggest one is how drastic and big you want to go and also um and then next step would be start you know start doing start tearing down start start tearing apart do you get a certain feeling when you just start ripping and tearing oh, stuff fun. up yeah. like what is that feeling like tell yeah, the world what does it feel the like porch, yeah, the, the girls the girls they always try to go watch but they end up, end up leaving because we mm -hmm. don't even talk to them we're just Focus like, on the sparks on the flying truck. everywhere. They're getting burned. <laughs> They're watching the arc flash. They don't. I was what I'm saying. I'm a girl. I don't understand it either. So what's that feeling? Give me an insider <laughs> secret on how guys feel when they're tearing stuff up. It's probably a good comparison. Like when you ladies are going to the spa, getting your nails done. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting covered in the dirt. I That's get it now. Like. Yeah, it's, like, it's like therapeutic kind uh, of. Thing I get it now. Us, so. I get it now. Therapeutic, you guys. Your own business that's therapeutic, your passion. I don't even know what else to say about that. That is just like so wonderful and phenomenal. I'm trying to stay away from amazing, even though amazing is actually a really good word. What? What? what, 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 what? He wants to say we're uncensored, you guys. We're uncensored, but I love it. You like that's your favorite word? Bitchin's a good one. He's got All right, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. What about you? Uh, I just go with the flow. He's always <laughs> saying these words, and I'm just like. You pick them up. I pick them up slowly. He picks up mine too. Yeah. You guys are pretty awesome. Tell me what you love best about the Central Valley. Best of both worlds. Two worlds or two hours. You got the coast. Two hours. You got the mountains, and uh, the desert's only well four hours away. Three hours. So. In the center of the. Fun times. Center of everything, yeah. We're in the center of fun times, and that's what we want people to see. We want people to not just pass through the Central Valley. We want them to stop and have fun and let them know about all the great things that are happening in the, in, in the Central Valley. We're talking Kings County. He's in Riverdale. That's yeah. actually Fresno County. Mm -hmm. But I want you guys to make sure you please go to their Facebook page right now, Randy Thomas on Facebook and friend him. You've you seen the picture, the guy by the truck, right, with, yeah, the, with the big smile, the nice <laughs> genetically enhanced smile he didn't had no work and and do you have a facebook oh uh, yeah i do okay tell us uh <laughs> just zach weddle i don't know zach, have zach what's Spell your last name w-e-d-d-l-e w-e-d-d-l-e -E -E. -E -E. it, it rhymes um you guys can't miss it look for him on instagram i want you guys to go check out their stuff i want you to do business with them i want you guys to you guys should know who they are. They're awesome. They're full of awesomeness right now. So check them out, you guys. Thomas Off-Road Fabrication. I thank you guys so much for being here today. So tell the world, you know, you love them because I do. I love, And I love you guys. Love you too. Thank All you right. They're fun. lovely too. Thank you, everybody. And come back. I have more guests. I 
am a monster. I will never back down. I am part of a tradition. I, I got, got green in my veins! I'm ready to go! I'm a monster! This, this is our team. This is our town! This, this is our barn! This is our time. I am relentless. I will never get tired of the goal song. I'm, I'm ready, ready to go! go! I will never quit. I am a monster. I am a monster! I am a monster! Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. You're watching centralvalleytalk.com. Centralvalleytalk.com. Mike Briggs Properties has a very special historic property for sale that can be used as a home or as a business. This classic California craftsman historical home is located in the Tower District, Fresno High area. The interior ambiance displays a heyday of craftsman aesthetics, substance, strength, symmetry, and casual grace. Elegantly appointed mahogany and oak structural elements integrate form and function in a harmonious flow from room to room in this two-story, 4,500-foot home. The property also includes a nearly 800-foot, two-bedroom apartment above the garage. This property is well-suited for a professional office type of business or for a large family or combined living and workspace. The lot included with this property is park-sized with plenty of room for expansion or as a parking lot big enough to support a commercial business. For more information on this property, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Very fun time here at centralvalleytalk.com. You guys, spread the word. Like, I want to say thank you for all the people that are watching from all these states and everywhere around the world. I have another special guest. Um, if For those of you who, were, who viewed last night that I put on my Facebook that I was on the Sheila Riddell show called Keeping It Real with Sheila Riddell. She is my very next guest, and I am almost oh. afraid. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. Hey. Hey. Don't be scared. Don't be I don't scared. Know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're just going to talk to her today. She has a new show. She is an actual a lyricist, poet, and comedian. You guys, we're going to check her out. All Sheila, right. thank you for coming on thank today. You. Can I get a hug? Sure. Come on now. You know we do hugs around here. I honey. squeezed her in. Yes. Thank I squeezed you. someone else in. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute I now. Love I love it that you came. So, yeah. thank you. Her debut show came on yesterday. From Boy, Thursdays. Did it go. <laughs> Thursdays, 6 to 7. I came on and we did a little skit, and I didn't know what she was going to do. And, and I wish I could show you guys, but you guys will see it soon. But she did this Miss. Cleo's Miss Shill. And, and me, I told her about her astrological she sign did. and how me not like a Libra because they're too balanced. They think they're all that. They think they're so in control all the time. No problem. She does. She has many voices, yes. you guys. And this is one of the reasons why you guys should tune in to her <laughs> on Thursdays from 6, uh, six to 7. Six because to 7. Because you never know what is going to happen oh. or what voice she's going to use. I don't know. But let's know. get to know who Sheila is and why you should watch her. So, Sheila, tell me, what do you, what do, you do? What made you become a comedian? I mean, Man. are you just born with it or do you have to like practice in a mirror all day? You or know what? When like I was I like five years old, I really was already telling jokes and I didn't even realize it. Do you remember Angela um, DeAngelis, um, Barbara DeAngelis? She did the um, infomercials where it's like 
do you have emotional baggage? If you have 10 pounds of emotional baggage, then you need to re leave this relationship. So basically at five years old, I'm mimicking her, like doing these big old skits on emotional baggage when I know no idea what that means. And just like, and I, when I was young, I used to do 15 miles in the snow to get to school. Like just all these jokes. And I was always trying mm -hmm. to entertain people from a very young age, school, Sheila, back of the class, you talk too much. High school, Me too. Sheila. You Why get, did aren't you get here? kicked out and go to continuation? No, but I graduated with a 1.86 GPA. Girl, me too. Yes, the hey. average. And look at we are true. right here hey. on the internet talking to the world today. I'm telling you, but that was high school. I did get older and say, hey. College, I did my first 4.0. Did you get your first 4.0? I got 4. my president's <laughs> award. Oh, my God. College, college. college. Amazing. See, not everybody is Nicki Minaj in this house. Hello, I'll teach people to go to college. But I think in high school, yeah, I got kicked out just on that. I got kicked out. I went to Earl F. Johnson. Hey, if you're hey. an Earl F. Johnson alumni, come on my show. Show yes. people what you're doing now. You're probably great. You're probably like some major but you know CEO what. or something. Get at me. I don't think I answered my question concisely. Okay. Well, the reason I did yeah. poetry is because I had a traumatic childhood and I had to laugh my way through it. You know what? And, and I think I, most that's what it is. comedians go through And then as you like go that. through adulthood, you could either complain about it or you could be like, you know what, this shit's hella funny. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like with being a stepmom, oh, I got material for that 16-year-old that I've got to add to now. She got them hormones. I got you, Destiny. I got you. So now, instead of getting mad, yeah, Thank hello. God. So anytime she gets an attitude, every time she says, I'm bored at your house, and your house is so small, blah, 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 I'm clowning. You know what? I don't have any girls, <laughs> thank God. But let me tell you something. I had nieces, and one is here today, and went through the same oh. thing. Hey, I might bring her on. I don't know. Look, she might she's put her on front street. Too. How old I'm is she? glad she's here today. How old is she? She's 21. 22 now. My Deuce goodness. Deuce. Okay. 22. But I think they all go through that. But, but, but you, you know, know what? I, I rock with her. Because yeah. she was on the show yesterday. Yes. You saw her. Beautiful yes. little girl. Theater, arts, and all that. But we're just alike. So I think that's where we clash. We both be selfie-taking pictures. I think everybody on, does that. But we do it too much. Probably. Can't even hold a conversation. But anyways, yeah. come on. So I think, I think what you said was very important. Because a lot of comedians, they do go through some traumatic events. or you know, And I think they take what they went through and they use their adversity as their battle scars. It's like, yeah. your brand is your battle scars. Everything yeah. you go through, you know. And being able to laugh at it. Being exactly. able to laugh when I trip and fall and bust my whole well, butt Well, because up. if you, you know laugh I mean? at it. It doesn't matter. I will lay on the ground and be like, I want somebody to see me. Just, uh, no, you know what that's, I mean? That's, that's like, a drama I'm queen. Kidding. That's a what drama a queen. That's not comedy. Help though. me. Help me. <laughs> I need help. My life has become unmanageable. I'm trying to help you, but let me, that's a great, oh my God, I am a life coach, business coach. Well, my life has become certified unmanageable. Certified counselor. Except I like it unmanageable, so I don't oh, okay. need you, honey. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of my friends that are out there that are my fellow counselors, how you doing? How you doing? You know I like talking. Do you got a treatment plan for me? Can I, you fix my life? I do do treatment plans. That's oh, my stars. I'm certified. Lord, <laughs> I'm certified too. 151. <laughs> well, I, I, snapped yeah. out crazy. How about that? I know. Certified. I know. You didn't have to tell me. You know me. it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Sheila, she's so funny. She has YouTube videos. She put herself out there. She's trying to get All her name out. out there. She mm -hmm. has this talk show. She got her first sponsor for her show, which was sponsored by... Mama Dukes. Moms. Moms. Mama sponsored the show. I, I love it. Dot C dot me. Go there, you guys. Go there. And, check out her artwork. And she's, you're performing? Some, where are you performing? Tell the people where they can Listen. watch you as well. Hello, how about you bump into me on the streets and you'll see me performing because I do live shows everywhere. Do you want a sample? Can I give you a little sample? Do we have time? Sure. She, uh, she wants to give you a sample. I, I hope need... it doesn't hurt me no, in any way. No, there's something that I need to share with y'all that's very do important I need a to shield? my heart. Where, anything... What's in my purse here? Last what? night we had a bowl of fruit props. Wait a minute. Look, I'm looking for my barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue sauce. Where's my barbecue hey. sauce? You know what? I, I'm Excuse mad. Me, Jason, did you bring my barbecue sauce? Wait a minute. Excuse me. In my purse, is there some hot sauce? Can I get some hot sauce? Some Can barbecue sauce? Can I get a prop? Give me my tapatio, please. You don't. She want cannot me show me on my show. You don't have any. Okay, I'll do it a cappella. Okay, <clears throat> we'll do it like a Let one me, minute version. Can I, yeah. Can I serenade you just real quick? Okay. With the first few verses. Okay. Go for it. One, two, three. Uh, barbecue sauce on everything. Ah, uh, barbecue sauce makes my heart sing. Yes, barbecue sauce on my 
chicken wing, yes, barbecue <laughs> sauce on my onion ring, oh, girl, yes, yeah, barbecue sauce <laughs> on my scrambled mm. eggs. Break it down Ooh, now, barbecue <laughs> sauce <laughs> on my turkey legs. You better try it. Time to get greasy. It's barbecue Ooh. season. <laughs> Hey, 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 no silverware, got fingers for a reason. Hey, 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 hey. time to get greasy, it's barbecue season. Invite me, invite me. Time to get she is trying to get a free lunch, everybody. <laughs> That's all I got for y'all. Y'all gotta watch out the rest on YouTube. I'm and telling you, barbecue sauce, you gonna she find has she a barbecue she. sauce YouTube video. Yes, there's plenty of them, honey. I I don't know what to say. My <laughs> mouth is watering. I want to go. Do eat you some want ribs some bar now. Who's getting barbecue sauce? I want ribs. I don't know when about you... barbecue sauce on my eggs though. Did the you scrambled... ever? Who else does it? Barbecue sauce on a scrambled No one eggs? in our studio audience Come does on. that. <laughs> and, no, has, what? and has ever heard of that. And well, let me ask you something. If you ate barbecue sauce on your scrambled eggs, go to my Facebook page right now. Tell me. And let me know what let is going on. You can Facebook me at Ernestine Herrera Hill. Friend me, and I'm looking to make a page. But let me know. I've never Come heard on. that. Come on. Come on. And if you do, then they need to go on Sheila Riddell, too. And they that's do. That's R-E-D-E-L-L. -L. There's and a free trip right And you tell me how right much there. you love barbecue sauce. And if you need more barbecue, I got it on deck a hundred bottles baby i'll autograph them for you so are you making uh, your own barbecue sauce yes honey sheila sauce sheila so that's, sheila sauce you know that's, <laughs> that that sounds pretty saucy yes hello <laughs> is it spicy some of it have vodka in it no no i'm just okay. playing it's a joke it's a joke i'm kidding hello kids hello oh, my kids are watching hi babies <laughs> i play i play it with you. you my kids like barbecue sauce hello. only one of them does not the vodka barbecue not the vodka. Not but, the but she has her own. So you're an entrepreneur as well, then. You're, you're selling and I do and hair. Oh, we got a commercial coming up. Well, Lord, let me tell you, everybody, okay. where to find you. Tell them where to find, find you. Find me on Twitter, keeping it real with Sheila Riddell, or just putting Sheila Riddell. My mama blessed me with a very unique middle name, so I cut off the foster. Riddell is it. R-E-D-E-L-L. -L. Facebook, Twitter. I will accept you because I don't give a what in the world who you are. I love you. Plug in your show. Oh, yeah. Keeping it real with Sheila Riddell, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. East, no, well, not Eastern, Western Standard Time. Just do Western. You're in the Central Valley. Central Valley. But oh, no, girl. I got people East Coast. I know. Too. We'll send them a time zone thing. What? But every Thursday, you guys, 6 to 7, tune in to Sheila. You don't know what kind of sauce she's going to sing about know. next. You know, give her some information. Yeah. Maybe you have a favorite sauce. She'll yeah, turn it into a song, you guys. You like turn curry? Turn Sheila. Curry sauce. Curry it doesn't sauce. matter. Jerk Whatever chicken. it is. It's nothing. Chicken mole. Okay. All, what is that? I don't know. That's All that right. Stuff. Yes, it is. All right. Yes. Watch Sheila. Guys? Thank you so much. Come back. I have one more extraordinary guest. I love you guys. Thank All you for right. watching. All right. Good job. Thank you, girl. Mike Briggs Properties has a very special historic property for sale that can be used as a home or as a business. This classic California craftsman historical home is located in the Tower District, Fresno High area. The interior ambiance displays a heyday of craftsman aesthetics, substance, strength, symmetry, and casual grace. Elegantly appointed mahogany and oak structural elements integrate form and function in a harmonious flow from room to room in this two-story, 4,500-foot home. The property also includes a nearly 800-foot, two-bedroom apartment above the garage. This property is well-suited for a professional office type of business or for a large family or combined living and workspace. The lot included with this property is park-sized with plenty of room for expansion or as a parking lot big enough to support a commercial business. For more information on this property, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Buy a home in this 
foreclosure market for as little as $500 a month. If you want your kids to go to McLean High School, Scandinavian Middle School, or Erickson, take a look at this beautiful home, three bedroom, two bath, uh, there's a beautiful uh, rock wall to put a, a wood-burning stove. Uh, there's also a very open floor plan with the fire, another fireplace. The kitchen, you've got to see the kitchen. It has a beautiful snack bar for your kids to sit and do their homework while you're preparing the dinner under $500 a month. Call us and see if you're qualified. Call Mike Briggs at Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 or go to Mike Briggs Properties. Com. You can purchase this nearly new home near Kings Canyon and Fowler Avenues for as little as $800 a month. At 1,700 square feet, it has four bedrooms and two baths and a three-car garage. It is located near Sunnyside Shopping Centers and has great access to Freeway 180. This home is located in the Clovis Unified School District. For more information on any of our properties, check out MikeBriggsProperties.com or call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Hi, I'm Greg Rood, a local real estate agent working with London Properties. You might be thinking about buying or selling a property right now, or maybe you just have a question about real estate. I'd love to help you with that. Give me a call at 352-7716 and I can answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you've got a property that's upside down. Maybe you're interested in buying a bank foreclosure and have a question about that. Or maybe you just like someone to show you some houses that you're interested in or have a question about a particular property. Once again, give me a call. My name's Greg, 352-7716, and I'd love to help you. Thanks. You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com. Thank you guys for coming back. I was so thrilled with my last two guests. They're so exciting. And I'm so excited to bring you my next guest. His name is David O'Hara. And that is such a unique name. He's from, yes, give it up for David. Thank you. He's from, he's got a new show coming out called Vid Sports Drive. I hope I'm saying that right. You but are. it's going to start next Friday. And we're going to let us tell, we're going to let him tell us all about it. Like I said, we're live people. Bear with me. So, David, welcome to the show. I'm but so glad you can make it. I am too. Thanks so much, Ernestine. I hope I don't let you down from the uh, Thomas guys that were uh, bringing the heavy <laughs> testosterone and Sheila, who was uh, bringing the heavy estrogen. So, hopefully, <laughs> you know I what? can. Uh, now we're going to balance it out. Yeah, we're hopefully, gonna balance I'm, it. Uh, I'll be estrogen, you be testosterone. That I can do. Okay. That I can do. Just don't right. try to flip on me. We won't flip there. it. Yeah, okay. We won't flip it at all. Um, I'm, I'm excited for you to be here. Tell us what you're doing. I, I'm glad you're here. You're in the Central Valley now, but give us a little idea of who you are. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to following Chuck's show. Uh, Chuck does his live show four to six every Friday, and so I'll be doing my sports driver sports show from six to seven every Friday. So Chuck will have a nice studio audience with the barbecue and the beer and uh, getting everybody fired up for a sports show. So uh, in talking with Bill and Mike Briggs earlier today, too, we um, looked at putting together a, a show that would cover the Grizzlies. Well, before I get into more about what I'm doing, who's your favorite sports team oh, in the area? Oh, wow. In the area, I like the Grizzlies because I love what my kids love. You a Dodger fan, Giants fan, Niners? Well, I have to kind of go with what my boys love because they would probably be upset with me, but they're Giants fans okay. and Green Bay fans. Green Bay, well, that's... Die hard Green Bay fans. I'm John, I'm originally from the Midwest, from Iowa. I'm a oh, Chicago wow. Bear fan. my brother-in-law's from Iowa and well, you're Chicago. I'm sorry about that. Just remember, no, I was... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Iowa's a good place to be from. Just remember that. That's why we're all somewhere else. I have an Iowa Hawkeye shirt. It's getting kind of... I need I a new one. I should have brought my notebook up with me. I still have the Iowa Hawkeyes basketball cool. in my notebook. My brother-in-law so. loves them. I hope he's watching. But, well, besides that, then, so they're Packers fans, but I'm a Bear fan. Obviously, in the area I'm you guys from, fought. it's either Vikings, Packers, Bears, because there's not a sports team mm -hmm. in I a pro sports team in Iowa. So I was going to say about who's your favorite football team in LA, but they don't have a football they team. They don't. So, Stop making fun of them. I'm teasing, but <laughs> I lived in LA for five years. So um, you asked me what my background was. I had done uh, a couple of different sports shows, talk shows in the Midwest in Kansas City for Fox okay. Sports Radio, and then wow, also I was a famous. segment producer on the Tonight Show. Speaking of LA, so I know Los Angeles very well. So okay. instead of working behind the camera, I wanted to do more work in front of the camera and microphone. So a good friend of mine who was on a couple of my shows in Kansas City, Ron Robinson, okay. former major league pitcher, he lives in Visalia, 
And am I saying that correctly? Yes, okay. Visalia. Very salient. Very I'm correct. new to the area, Fresno, the Central Valley area. So, what do you uh, love about it, first of all? Uh, so far, I, I love the idea that you're still close to the, as the guys from Thomas said earlier, yeah. uh, you're close to the ocean, you're close to the mountains, you're close to the desert, pretty much close to everything. And, and me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm very me, close yeah. to you, yeah. yes, yes. But no, I, I, I love the, um, I loved LA, I lived there for five years, not the cliche of the song, but I also... <laughs> Can you do a little yeah, snippet? Absolutely okay, not. Right. Unlike Sheila, I'm not a singer or oh, a dancer, okay. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I like uh, LA a lot, but I also like San Francisco, one of my favorite cities, besides being from the Midwest, Chicago or Minneapolis, but for me, I'm looking to start with local stuff like Fresno State, the Bulldogs, some high school stuff, but then we're also going to cover the statewide, the regional. Everybody's a sports fan, it seems like. Everybody's right. got an opinion these days on what their favorite team is or whatever the topic of the day is with sports, if it's uh, performance enhancing drugs, PEDs, whatever it is. You know, Derek Jeter is uh, who he's dating for the Yankees. You know, it seems oh, and, uh, yeah, their emotional status. Yes. You know, I think that's what the girls look at a lot of times. Well, that's why when I said hopefully I'm a good melody. You're going to get between, everybody yeah, to watch. Between what Sheila was, your previous guest, and the to- the guys from Thomas. Well, I'll tell you uh, what, I'm going to watch you. Well, I look I'm forward so to it. Well, let me ask you something. You sure. were an executive producer for The Tonight Show? A segment producer, not an executive producer. Oh, but, sorry. Uh, if hey. I was an executive producer, I would still be there. <laughs> <laughs> Big money. So can you hook me not, up? M- not me. I need a yeah, job. Yeah. Do they still need people? I was, you know, the old thing that the bottom of the totem pole yeah. i had to get a ladder to get to that totem pole so oh, again wow. that's why I know, I'm, that's why i'm here major he has all this experience you've been on sports news and but that's why they use the word peon because you're actually physically peed on when you're a peon so oh, that's why i tried I, to go yeah. somewhere else that's so. why you're here and you got your own platform and you do what you want and yeah, i think you're gonna shine well you i'm looking right? forward to it and you it's funny you, you and i were talking before we uh, got on camera here uh-huh. and you said something about did i have any tips and what to look at and i said <laughs> There's an old expression I used to always say to one of my buddies that uh, was a producer on The Tonight Show as well, and he'd always say, hey, Dave, if you wear black, it makes you look slimming. See, I try to tell everybody. So the first event I go to, I'm wearing black like I am now, and he looks at me and he goes, just sets me up perfectly, he leans in, he goes, you know, black is slimming, Dave, but it makes you look older. And I was like, Oh, but. heck no. So <laughs> you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, Ernestine. So I, well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, let me tell you. I said, because he has such, you know, a, a big array of experience, I said, of, of being in front of television, like I said, I, I go, this is only my second time and he's like wow and I said do you have any tips about like how I can look thinner in the camera that's what I asked him and, and I was going to say wear black but I thought I'd save that anecdote because he doesn't want me to look show. old <laughs> I didn't say I'd that rather look. but I tell the listeners and the viewers that for Ernestine for you to tell me that it's only your second time on camera or in front of a microphone I would studio audience join me you gotta yeah. get her you could not tell that it, if you had not said that, I would have never known you had that little experience. So you're doing great, by the well, way. Well, thank you. But you know what? Like I mentioned earlier, I've been a counselor for many, many years, and I've had to, uh, I worked in therapeutic communities. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but I've kind of had to, I've interviewed like thousands of people before, but just in an, on an emotional level, I guess. Well, when you said you were certified, I didn't know if you were certifiable certified or if you're certifiably certified. What the? Uh, I'm certified. Okay. You're not certifiable then. I'm certifiable. Okay. I'm so everything. Th- I'm adorable, too. But, well, <laughs> look at that right there. I, that, that, that tells it itself. But you said you also do some work in prisons. I did. You did counseling. I did work in the prisons. I've worked in the prisons for a long, so long time. So this is a piece hey, of cake for bring, you. Bring in that. I worked with the hardest crowd ever. I'm telling you. If any of you prisoners out there got your cell phones <laughs> right now, tune in. <laughs> Hey, if you're watching, that would be my biggest her. audience Hone because they probably Ernestine. remember me. Yeah, <laughs> Hone in on yeah, yeah, exactly. Me. Now, you know what? That did give me a lot of experience. I mean, I can't knock that at all because yeah. going up in front of a live prison audience, <laughs> you know, <laughs> telling them <laughs> that is the ultimate pass fail right there. Yeah. I, you, know. you know, you got you know, you got all this. You know, they're looking at you. They don't know who you are. It is ultimate pass or fail. They're going to tell yeah. you if you suck or not, basically. Well, uh, so. Hopefully, they only just tell you that you suck. They don't actually. Uh, oh, let's not go there. I, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> nothing against the uh, views of the penal system. I apologize no. for anything that may affect. No, me. nothing affect. I'm saying I worked there and I loved doing what I did because I think I just love talking. Don't yeah. we all? Don't I, mean, I do. I do. And Sheila said that she was our guest earlier. Said that. She practiced when she was five. I started practicing at 10, just doing this talk show stuff at home and never knew that this is kind of like, you Who know. Who knew? This is what and I need to be doing. I need to be big, you know, let's go. Let's take this worldwide. And we can be worldwide. We're globally, we're on the internet, you guys. We're not local, we're worldwide. Well, it's called www. www. So tell us, where can people find you? Do you have a Facebook? Can you? I do, but I'm gonna do everything next week. And, and I greatly appreciate you doing that for the other guests too. Mm-hmm. I am gonna not really wait for the secret unveil, but we're gonna have a a couple different links so if you okay. tune in next week at from 6 to 7 p.m. after the infamous world-famous speaking of worldwide Chuck Leonard 
You guys, that's right. He mentioned Chuck Leonard. I'm going on before Chuck Leonard. He's after Chuck Leonard. That is the perfect sandwich. We're I'm making a Chuck sandwich. Chuck sandwich. We're making that's a what Chuck I'm sandwich. saying. All right, all right. And, you know, he doesn't even know. A little bit of sauce. Oh my god! But we're going. I'm going on before Chuck Leonard, you guys. This is his baby, you guys. Tune in to Chuck Leonard. I'm going to tell you. Watch this. Watch this. www.centralvalleytalk.com. Didn't want to mess it up. But watch it. You're going to find something you like. Support the people of the Central Valley. Support you know everybody that's on here. There's something for everybody. I think it's an awesome thing that we're doing. So um, let me ask you something. Sure. Then what drives you? What drives you to do this? Well, it's interesting that you asked. That's that's the name Vid Sports Drive. My, you know, <laughs> David O'Hara. But my nickname growing up as a kid. You mentioned Iowa. There was a uh, famous basketball player at Iowa named Glenn Vidnovic. And so David, wow. bid, and so he was my favorite player. So my dad, my older brother, until the day my dad died 10 years ago, I had never heard him call, call me anything since I was about four years old than bid. So everybody back in my home area knows me as bid. So be, to be distinctive, instead of, I've had other incantations of this show called The Sports Drive with David O'Hara or whomever my co-host was. Okay. So this time I thought, let's keep it brief and we'll just go vid sports drive. So, and drive could be anything, as you just said. It could be your drive to succeed, you're mm. driving a car, a drive on a golf course, the guys from Thomas who were on earlier, that kind of drive, drive down the lane in basketball. So multiple answers to your one I simple love that. Question. I love so. people with drive. And this is what the, I want to bring to the show is that, you know, like I said, I've worked with people and I've seen people succeed. I've seen people, you know, sure. that light come on and follow their passions. And I love that. And I love when people go for their dreams and go for what they love. And yeah. that drive, it's awesome. And there's so much of, of that awesomeness in the Central Valley, you guys. And I want to bring it to you. I'm telling you, if you're watching, hit me up on Facebook, Ernestine Herrera Hill. And I'm, I'm looking to make my Facebook page. So I'm, I'm still working on that. Like I yeah. said, it just is jumped in my lap. Well, there's plenty of opportunities. And that's what I mentioned when you said Sheila earlier, and like I said mm -hmm. the guys from Thomas. It's, it's great to see, as you mentioned, doing something that's your passion. Exactly. And then you can project it out to the public, which like I said, you do on a ad nauseum. I mean, you do a great job of that. And that's why I was shocked when you said it's only your second time, because like with Sheila and the guys as well from Thomas, it's just been everybody's passion spills out into the show. And that way, hopefully the listeners, the viewers, uh, and that's why with the sports show, we want people to come by for Chuck's show for the barbecue and the beer. Stay around, talk sports. As I mentioned, I'll have Ron Robinson, who's a former Major League pitcher. He'll be joining me from Visalia, and wow. he'll cover a lot of local sports with me. But we're also going to have some guys from the Fresno Bee, other athletes, uh, coaches from Fresno State, area high school. So we want to bring everybody on. We want to have cover as much of the sports spectrum in this Central Valley area that we can. I think that's going to be awesome because you're not going to have any limits you. on what you can do. And I'm surely going to watch you because I'm going to be here and I'm going to be on your show. Well, looking forward to I'm it. Because I'm going to probably start a softball team now. <laughs> you know, there's a couple jokes there. I'm not going to go with any of them. But uh, the laughter there from everybody else did it for me. So. Honestly, though, when I was young, I, I was pretty good at softball, but then I tore my knee. I was going to say something about field hockey, too, but I'm not going to go with any of those jokes. But you know what? Are you going to do, tell us, so. are you going to do like zany jokes and are you going to have fun? I, I think with the personalities that I will have on the show, you know, sports guys as a rule are kind of crazy anyway. Ron yeah. is a character. They call him Big Red. I was telling Bill and Chuck uh, earlier, Bill, your producer, and also Chuck Leonard. Bill is our my previous, producer. Yeah, our previous, uh, or our, I guess after you but before me, the show host, Chuck, that kind of runs the joint. I was telling him about a, a Ron was throwing a perfect game for the Milwaukee Brewers about okay. 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And I'll, I'll save that story for next week, but he's got a great story. Aww. And since it's internet radio, I've had, uh, had him as a guest on other radio shows I've done, and I've had to say, now, this is live radio. You can't cuss. So he'll be sure now with uh, web TV, he can tell the full you unadulterated can cuss. story. And Except I'm probably, if I do, you guys he can let it go. Me. But he had a no-hitter going, and, you know, Major League Baseball, or excuse me, a perfect game, which is 26 in the history of baseball. Very rare. Mm -hmm. And at the time when he did it, it was probably 20. And a very famous player who plays for the Yankees or just retired from the Yankees a few years ago, Jake, to kind of half-assed a, a fly mm -hmm. ball to him, and it dropped in front of him. He pitched eight and two-thirds inning of perfect baseball and blew his no-hitter. Our perfect game. Yeah. Well, then he gave. He kind of came unraveled, and he, he went through the mental process of how he just kind of screwed himself. But then he gave up the shutout. Then he got pulled out of the game, and all because this guy half-assed a ball that he should have, could have, would have caught, and Ron would have been a part of history. So we're definitely wow. going to cover. Wow. To be almost a part of history is just personal gotta, stories gotta, like gotta, that. Yeah. Gotta like touch home with people. I mean, oh come on. We might even have some sports babes on, like yourself. You know, there's always. Hey, sports that's babes, what I'm so. talking about. I'm a sports babe. Y I am. Indeed, you but are. you know what? I'm going to college right now because I'm going back to school, you know, long story. And, um, you know, I, West Hills College, they got something going on. They, they might, maybe you can come out. Yeah. Uh, I would love to. But like I said, we got sports babes here in the audience. Let's hear some. Sports right babes in the audience. A bunch of them. A bunch of them. So, so we've got that all covered. 
So, okay, one more time, you guys. Tell them when your show is going to be. Tell, let everybody know. Yes, yeah, David O'Hara, Vid Sports Drive, next Friday or every Friday from this every point Friday forward, starting May 3rd. About. Start the first Friday off in May perfectly. 6 to 7 p.m. every Friday, Vid Sports Drive. I'm David O'Hara, following Chuck Leonard and the lovely Ernestine. So thank oh, you very thank much. thank you for coming. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. And we'll be back with the last final conclusion in words. Thank you for staying with us. Did you know you could buy a home in this foreclosure market for as little as $500 a month? If you want your kids to go to McLean High School, Scandinavian Middle School, or Erickson, take a look at this beautiful home, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, rock wall to put a, a wood burning stove. Uh, there's also a very open floor plan with a fire, another fireplace. The kitchen, you've got to see the kitchen. It has a beautiful snack bar for your kids to sit and do their homework while you're preparing the dinner under $500 a month. Call us and see if you're qualified. Call Mike Briggs at Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 or go to MikeBriggsProperties.com. You can purchase this nearly new home near Kings Canyon and Fowler Avenues for as little as $800 a month. At 1,700 square feet, it has four bedrooms and two baths and a three-car garage. It is located near Sunnyside Shopping Centers and has great access to Freeway 180. This home is located in the Clovis Unified School District. For more information on any of our properties, check out MikeBriggsProperties.com or call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Hi, I'm Greg Rood, a local real estate agent working with London Properties. You might be thinking about buying or selling a property right now, or maybe you just have a question about real estate. I'd love to help you with that. Give me a call at 352-7716 and I can answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you've got a property that's upside down. Maybe you're interested in buying a bank foreclosure and have a question about that. Or maybe you just like someone to show you some houses that you're interested in or have a question about a particular property. Once again, give me a call. My name's Greg, 352-7716, and I'd love to help you. Thanks. You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I got a few more things to talk about. I've been hitting that pavement. There's my beautiful friends right there at the Team Tachi. They're doing a relay for life. Look at them. They're so happy. I have so many friends, but they're the ones who took a picture today. Um, they're going to be Team Tachi out at the Relay for Life, and I just commend every team that's out there because it's for a great cause. You guys, if you're not doing anything, head on out to Lemoore. I believe it's at the high school, the Lemoore High School. Google it and go support them. They have their own booth. Another thing, I, like I said, I've been hitting the pavement. I've been trying to get guests, and, and I'm going to get the guests because why? This is positive Central Valley Talk TV, and you guys, are, it, we're going to bring you a, a, an array of people. I want to showcase your talent. I want to bring who you are in front of the whole valley and the world because this is worldwide like we said and i'm not trying to do a pit bull you know worldwide baby or anything but we're global we're global um one thing that's going to be very interesting i know next week is our farmers market in hanford um starting off the farmers market is going to be the very that was me talking um are we showing the picture right now okay i'm sorry I'm an amateur. I'm working okay. on it. Um, okay. We're going to be at the farmer's. I'm not going to be. Oh, I'm going to be at the farmer's market. I'm, but I'm talking about Poor Man's Poison. What an awesome group that won a title in Texaco, uh, the Texaco Showdown. They're going to be at the farmer's market next Thursday, kicking it off live. And I'm telling you guys, if you have not heard them live, you need to get there. But we're going to show this YouTube video so you guys get an idea who they are. But live is so spectacular. Stay tuned and watch this video and come back with me for my last announcements. Hey man, come on down. Set a truth from the corner now. Look at him all dressed in white. Said the angels must have came into town last night. Hey man, come on down. To fix on the corner downtown. Look at them with their heavy hearts broke down at the bottom. Not knowing where to start singing. It's all there, the black and white. You can lay down and you can put up a fight. Or you can break bread, eat bags of these. Or you can high hold your way to your knees. Or you can take that lesson that you learned today. Share it around and throw it away. But in the end, you're gonna see you're the only one of this. Life's just a game until the game's.
snaps be a fun Hey man, come on down Send the truth on the corner now Look at them all dressed in white Said the angels must have came into town last night Hey man, come on down They got your fix on the corner downtown Look at them with the heavy hearts Broke down at the bottom not knowing where to start He's all coked down, down on his knees He took a wrong turn, down the wrong street And he, he got burned by his family He says, I'm giving up, he says, I'm giving in Got the preacher man preaching about living in sin He's got God and the devil fighting for us all He fought for a price and now he's selling it all Sing it, hey man, come on down Sing it, hey man, come on down Come on down, they're selling truth from the corner now Look at them all dressed in white Said the angels must have came into town last night Hey man, come on down They got your fix on the corner downtown Look at them with the heavy hearts Broke down at the bottom, not knowing where to start singing Hey, hey, hey I hope you guys enjoy that as much as I did. And that's Poor Man's Poison. I met them. They are phenomenal. They have amazing personalities. They are just, when you hear them live, they have these breakdowns. You just can't explain it. It's a spiritual experience. You got to get down to the Farmer's Market next Thursday, Hanford. I also got another announcement. It's a Cinco de Mayo uh, celebration at the, um, at the Civic Auditorium in put on by Hanford Chamber of Commerce. So Cinco de Mayo, if you're not doing anything, get on down there. They need vendors if you have anything to sell, food to make. I'm just so thankful you guys tuned in to me today and watched my special guest. Tell your friends, tell everybody to keep watching because I'm looking for you. I wanna put you on the show. I wanna show everybody who you are and that you're a superstar no matter what. We're in the Central Valley and there's gonna be a lot of up and coming stars out of here, millionaires, entrepreneurs, inventors, and I'm gonna help showcase who you are, you guys. I thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. If nobody told you they loved you today, I do. And I always will, probably. And um, one last thing, if, if, if any WWE wrestlers are watching, and maybe, maybe my new friend David knows any WWE wrestlers, but my son, he's six years old, he made this wrestling list, if you can see it, of all the wrestlers he wants to come on my show. And we're talking about Sheamus, John Cena, The Rock. <laughs> if you're watching, come on my show. I, I love all you guys. Thank you. Come back next Friday, every Friday, live at 3 at centralvalleytalk.com. I love you and have a great weekend. And stay tuned for Chuck Litter. He's awesome. Thank you, guys. That man's alley, hungry howies and scoops ice cream tower health food samba steakhouse mike briggs properties there's tower market farmers market too kukas and landmark mr sushi for you chicken pie shop fulton's pulley palomino's Spinner's Records, Tower Bike Shop, Irene's To Go, Bobby Sells Restaurant, The Perfect Blend, and Million Elephant, H&R Block, Starbucks Coffee, Piemontese, Roger Rocca's Dinner Theater, The Second Space, Tower Tattoos, La Tienda, me and Ed's is the place. International Furniture, the Review Cafe, Teasers World Tea Market, Love Oak knows the way, Typhoon Restaurant, the Game Preserve, and B of A. 
Sequoia Brewing, Russo Restaurant, Tower Clocks today. Come to the tower, there's so much fun for everyone. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com. This segment is brought to you by Corrine Hatfield of Platinum Mortgage. If you are thinking of purchasing a new home or refinancing an existing home, call Corrine Hatfield at 917-7111. This just in. Tower District houses are selling for as little as $300 per month. If you have a job and decent credit, you can own your own home. If you can come up with a down payment, you can own a home a lot cheaper than you can rent, and your payment will never go up. Also, you could deduct most of your house payment from your income taxes. If you'd like to lock in your monthly house payment at $300 to $500 per month for the next 30 years, call Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Hey, my name is Chris DeVold, and I am host of one of CentralValleyTalk.com's hottest new shows, Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold, where we sit around for an hour and read the Bible. No, no, we don't. You think with a name like Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold, that's what we're doing? No. We sit around, we talk about lewd topics, we drink beer, and I vow to bring you one local live musician every friggin' week. You can count on that. So grab your best friend, come to the studio, or watch from home, and get ready to blush every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold. You can advertise your business, your product, or your event on Central Valley Talk, the Valley's only internet television station. Several of our programs are also picked up on DISH and cable networks. For the best advertising dollar, call Central Valley Talk at 579-1360. You're watching CentralValleyTalk.com. CentralValleyTalk.com.